All of the prosthetic arm challenge participants uh, had two performance tasks that they needed to complete. So the first one was a, what we called the object relocation task. And that took um, 10 randomly chosen everyday items, placed them on the table, and then they had to uh, move those tasks across a certain distance, pick them up and move them. And the idea was uh, that it would test the weight that they were able to carry. And uh, so that was what they were actually scored on for that task. And then the um, throwing task had them uh, picking up different kinds of balls. So everything from a golf ball to a hacky sack, tennis balls, and uh, picking those up. And they had three different distances that they would throw those balls to that were signified by these buckets that we had placed for them at different distances. So how many of each kind of ball could they get in those buckets? And so again, testing the athletic ability, if you will, of that prosthetic arm user. And then the high school teams had to, a third task that they had to do that focused on dexterity. They actually had to um, insert a bolt into a block of wood that was set up for them. So kind of uh, signifying uh, putting together a piece of furniture or something and they would put the bolt in and then they had to thread the screw on there and the, they were scored on how far they could uh, thread that screw up the bolt. Since it was our first year and it was a challenging project, different than the uh, projects we've done in the past, uh, we've done everything from mousetrap cars to trebuchets to windmills. This was a completely different kind of project. And so I th while we were all excited about it, I think we were all challenged by it as well. Well, the first time prosthetic arms wasn't really interested because I thought, oh, it looks really complicated, really almost boring. But once I got into it, it was really enjoyable. I enjoyed um, working with my teammates and it was really fun.